Hey guys, Michael Firth here, a founding field advisor board member and crown with Numi. And it's my pleasure to do this quick tutorial uh, for you from the Numi Command Center, all about setting up your brand new free website called MySite, which comes with this brand new technology. Now, with that in mind, I want to say that all of what I'm going to show you is going to back up the Numi 123 process. If you haven't heard about that, that means the person who's got you started hasn't shown you the basics yet. Numi 123 is our process, which simplifies what we do for massive duplication, duplication, duplication. And so today, this is a tool that won't take away from the human side of things, as we said in the summit presentation, but it'll add to the human side of things of what you do with interaction. So today, I've broken it into modules. And rather than give you absolutely everything in one go, instead, what we decided to do is just focus this on module number one, setting up your my site. So what I want you to do is I want you to have your phone with you and I want the a laptop or a computer screen so you can listen. And I want your phone in your hand and we're going to do this step by step. So there are five steps in this module to set up your my site. And it's been designed at a pace that a baby boomer can do. So I say that with total love and respect. I'm an X gen I'm a little bit more tech savvy than some, but um, some of the tutorials that are in the app are designed to just quickly show you things and are a little been told a little bit fast for some of the baby boomers. So I'm going to do something very slow paced. Have your phone, do one step, press pause, finish it, press play again, do the next step, etc., etc. So the aim is by the end of this, you'll have a fantastic functional uh, MySite website and you'll be able to teach the next person by sending this video directly to them from the app. So let's get into it. MySite setup, all about module one for your Numi Command Center app. Okay, so step one in this five, mod five step uh, module is personalizing your profile. So how do we do that? Pull out your phone. When you're looking at the phone on the home screen in the Numi Command Center, I have an iPhone. If you have a um, Android, it may look slightly different, but generally you'll be looking at the same things. The video in the center of the screen may not be the same, but at the top, it should say My Site. So step number one, we want you to click on the My Site button, which will be the first thing visible on your phone. So do that now. Click on the My Site button. Once you have, it'll bring up to this screen here. And the second part of this step we want you to click on the profile button towards the top of the page. So click on the profile button towards the top of the page. Once you've done that, the third step, mine is complete already. Yours will be blank. We want you to add a profile photo from your phone, right? And put that there by clicking the button and adding a photograph. And then we also want you to short, write a short bio or introduction about yourself that people will be seeing when they visit your site. Once you've changed the photograph to something you like, once you've written a short bio about um, how it fits in and, and how you fit into Numi, then I want you to hit the save button and boom, step one done. Now, press pause right now on this video, go back and do that. If you need to play back that first bit again, do that and make sure you have achieved step one of this five step module before you press play again. Okay, now we're back to playing the next part of the module. So now we're gonna add social media links. How do we do that? Well, we wanna click on the profile button again towards the top of the page. And this time, when you click on the profile button and you open it up, I want you to scroll down to below where you wrote your bio. And I want you to add all the relevant links for your social media on this page remembering to use the usernames not the entire url what do i mean i'll put that in layman terms if you go to facebook and you copy and pasted my profile that says facebook.com forward slash michael grant firth we don't want that because it won't work we just need the michael grant firth which is the username so that's what i've done here with facebook that's what i've done with the instagram username and that's what i've done with youtube if you have say um, Pinterest or TikTok or any of those, you could do exactly the same. Once you've done that, you then click the save button and you've added them. Remembering now what we can do is preview to make sure they're working correctly. So step three in this part is to click the preview button and test all of the social media links to make sure they work and plus read through your profile. So at the top, 
you can then click in the preview and make sure Facebook connects and Instagram connects and everything connects properly. If not, you may have used the wrong username or maybe you left in some spaces or something. So do it, make sure it's right. And then of course you can read your bio, make sure there's no spelling errors because first impressions, you never get a second chance at a good first impression. And then when you've done that, you click the done button at the top and boom, you have achieved step two. So now press pause here, pull out your phone, make sure you do that. Play that back if you need to, make sure you have the second step complete before you get to this one. Okay, now we're going to talk about adding buttons to your MySo. What's a button? A button is a link to a website or absolutely everything, anything you would like to have on your website. Now, it's important to make sure you do not add any non-NUMI products. According to compliance, if it's discovered that you have any other competing network marketing products uh, from any other company, even if you're a wellness warrior with 10 products to your name, with 10 different companies, if there's any of them attached to my site, it's something that Aaron Rennett will suggest that you'll get terminated. So do not do that, it's a breach of your agreement, but you can add other links that are not in competition as another network marketing product without any issues. Let me show you what I mean. So we open it up again on the same page. When you're looking at this, I want you to click on the buttons tab under my site this time, which is directly under where you saw profile on the last one. So bring that up on your phone now, click on buttons, then step two, mine's full again, but yours are gonna start from scratch. I want you to click up the top on the plus button at the top of the screen to add a button. When you do that, you then have the right to give it a short name, whatever the name of that button's going to be, and then give the link. Now, in this case, it is the full link. So it would be http forward slash www dot whatever it may be dot com or dot com dot au. So the whole link, okay? Once you've done that, then click the save button um, at the bottom. And of course, I've shown you the screen here flicking because sometimes on your phone, if you can't see the save button, tap somewhere, anywhere in the screen and the save button will appear and then click on that and boom, you've saved it. Now, just like in the previous two steps, at any time, just remember, you can go back and click on the preview button to see what you've done so far real time. So you can go back and then check it and make sure that the buttons work, make sure everything looks fine. So that is the end of step three of this process. Step number four. Now again, please press pause right now. We'll stop on the video. Go do step three on your phone. Once you've completed step three, then come back here and press, press play again. And now we're gonna to go to adding media to your site. So again, here's the main screen. Uh, number one on the home screen, I want you to click the share button at the bottom of the screen. Now, when you click the share button, what's gonna happen, it's going to come up to a screen where there are all sorts of things available. And you'll notice at the very top, there's one that says media. See how it says media at the very top? When you click on that, if you hit the plus button on any of the videos or tools that you would like to see in your my site, when you click the button, this bottom screen comes up, you can see here. And then of course, select, do you want it in a playlist or do you want it in your my site? And of course, in this case, you want it in the my site. So you click that and you have just added media to your my site. So the next step is to go back to my site on the home screen and then open it up by clicking the button and then scroll down by holding your finger on one of the medias. For example, if I wanted that top video, welcome to my Everything New Me Worldwide page, I could click a button and I could scroll it down and make sure so it's the second video. So you can grab them and move them, grab them and drag them into any audio order that you would like to be visible in your My Site. And again, remember, just like all the previous steps, at any point, you can always go back and click on preview and see in real time what your my site looks like right now by clicking that button. Let's go to the fifth and final step of this module, which is sharing your my site so that people can either see it uh, publicly, privately, whatever you want to do. So back to the main screen again, sharing your my site on the home screen. Click the contacts button at the bottom. So add the contacts button at the bottom of the screen. And this is where you might add a new person you just met in a hotel, could be someone you've met on social media. There's many ways to do this. When you click the contacts button, up the top of the screen, you'll see if I click the plus button, 
at the top of the screen, click the plus button. Then you can add a brand new contact. Of course, this button will open. And part of that step is to click create new contact after you click the plus button, that'll come up and then fill in the information, complete the details, you know, first name, last name, email address, phone number, whatever you've got. You don't really need much information, but whatever you've got, and then fill those in and hit the save button. Now, once you've got a brand new contact in your phone, in your, um, in your app, you then go back to the bottom of the screen and click on home, click on home, then, on the home screen, if you want to share the My Site, not playlists, but the My Site, all you have to do is click on My Site. And once you've done that, then you can click the Share button. So click on My Site, click the Share button. And when you do that, it's going to ask you, do you want to send out a contact smart link, which means a link to somebody with a specific name that you just added in context. So when they click it, it'll track that person and tell you everything they do. Or do you want a general link? And a general link might be something you would put on the bottom of your email um, as an email footer. It could be what you would put on a, a, web, a website link. It could be what you send out on an advert or something like that. It could be on your profile. But for contacts, when you want to track it, that's when you want to use a contact smart link. Okay. So let's say you've selected contact smart link. Um, all you need to do is click that button. And then of course, copy and paste it or send it by text. That part's pretty intuitive. Uh, make sure if you're sending it via Facebook Messenger or something, if you don't have the details in there, you click copy and then go to Facebook, go to LinkedIn, go to WhatsApp, go to whatever it is and hit paste. Type a message, put that unique link in. And then when someone clicks it, you will know what they're clicking, how long they watched it for. It is unbelievable. So let me quickly show you how good your my site could look if you spend a little bit of time getting familiar with this system. So I'm just going to share the one that I set up originally. Again, I'm not suggesting mine's the best. I'm just saying this is the way I've set mine up. So if somebody was to click mine via a smart link, contact smart link that tells me they opened it or whether it's just via a general link, this is what they see. So you'll notice across the top, there's my Facebook link that goes back to Facebook. There's my Instagram link. There's my YouTube link. I've recorded a specific welcome message, which we'll talk about in another recording. Uh, and then I've put in the two minute video that everybody uses as a first exposure. I've put in the neuro videos and before and afters, and I've put in the new me opportunity overview, which is the second video that everybody uses. And then a compensation overview and a shop link directly to the shop. Now you'll see I've got my long bio, the background of how I fit in, but I've also got things back to media releases about Numi, which is a button just going to business for home. I've got my subscription for my own one that goes back to giving some MLM secrets out. You might have something like that that's um, in a complimentary but not in competition or anything, not selling anything outside of Numi. And then of course, people can book an appointment directly into my diary using Calendly from here as well. And again, on the right hand side, if someone types in a question, that'll send a message directly through to me as well on my app in real time. So that's a quick tutorial, it goes for 12 minutes, but I must say, if you press pause and do each of those five steps, by the end of this, you should be a master. You'd have a magnificent looking my site and it all backs up the newbie one, two, three, and I look forward to seeing you in module number two. All the best.